Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Xenoverse playthrough. This is part two, and this episode we are here, ready to go ahead and hopefully grab ourselves the Pokedex, as I didn't realize until the end of last episode, but we don't actually have a Pokedex yet, meaning there is still probably a little bit more intro to go, but you know what? Last episode we got ourselves three uh, brand new Pokemon. We got Shyleon, we got Sparkowl, and we got Yemen. Honestly, the one that surprises me the most is Yemen already having a Black Belt and having Technician. I feel like this Pokemon could be really, really good early, but for now, we're gonna keep Shyleon in the front. We're gonna kind of just play it out with our starter for now and see how it goes. Generally, we don't want to be training up too many Pokemon at the start of a new playthrough because it will get uh, very, very underleveled very, very quickly. And at the start, levels are pretty important. Levels are pretty important. So, Shalion hopefully is gonna be able to kind of carry us through these starting battles. I believe that I can see the good old first trainer right here. Can I just dash straight past? Yeah, I didn't think so. When two trainers catch each other's eye, the battle shall begin. See, they always say something like that at the start of a game, right? They're like, hey, don't look at trainers. But I like the image of me just completely going full pelt, running straight past this first trainer without even batting an eyelid in his general direction, just running. You know, I like that plan where I don't have to battle him. But also, you know, we may as well go up against the best trainer of all time straight away. I mean, this man has a Bidoof, okay? He's prepared, okay? He's got a powerful Pokemon. We need a tough challenge, okay? We're gonna, we're not coming into it easy. But um, I did learn a little bit more about sound type, okay? Because I feel like that was the very, very interesting thing that we got shown last episode. And that was the star that had a sound type thing. There was also the Jigglypuff that was part sound type. Now, sound type is actually a pretty, I don't want to call it a common thing, all right? It's not a common thing, but there's multiple fan games that have put it in. And, uh, generally, I can't speak for this game yet because I haven't tested, but generally, sound is very, very good against fairy from, like, the one other game <laughs> that I've played it in. And I think I saw it on, like, a chart on the loading screen as well, showing that sound was good against fairy. So, I think the sound type's gonna be our counter to fairy types, meaning we have to be very, very afraid of sound types, first of all. That's, that's definitely something that we have to be afraid of with our grass fairy starter, but, um... I do want to try and catch ourselves a sound type, preferably today, that'd be amazing, but I don't know if they're going to be a particularly common thing we can get super early. I mean, maybe we can get a Jigglypuff on one of the earlier routes, as uh, we've seen that they exist. That could be an idea, but um, we'll have to see, we'll have to see. There's also the obvious of, if there is a Pokemon with the ability Soundproof, odds are sound type moves are not going to work particularly well, so we do have to be a little bit cautious about that too. Overall, I'm excited to learn about the sound type. I really am, you know? It doesn't seem like it's- oh. Speaking of... Cricketot. Cricketot. Are you a sound type? Is that why you resisted my fairy type move? I think so. I think that just proved what I was trying to say, which I guess is honestly kind of good. I'm a little bit afraid of damaging this thing because it's using Bide, and I did way more damage with that than I wanted to. Yikes. <laughs> that did way too much damage back to me. I thought Absorb would do less than Pound. I don't know why. I don't know why I thought that. That was a silly thing to think. Level 7. We're really getting into the big leagues now. Whew. Looks like you're already used to Pokemon battles. I am. I am. What's this? A potion? Okay, you know what? Sure, sure. I did run back and heal in between episodes, uh, just because I felt like it was convenient. Route 1. That wasn't Route 1. I guess not. I guess that was just a ranch. Oh. Hello, random dude staring into a tree. That's a fun hobby you got there. Man, there's no way to get in there. Well, there's a, there's a big hole. I'm sure you could figure it out. Ah, you made my heart skip a beat. Oh. Oh, the flattery will get you nowhere. <laughs> I thought it was a wild Pokemon ready to attack me. Hmm, you really look like a Pokemon trainer. Am I right? I really want to say no. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> Don't mock me, come on. My name is Addy and I just moved to this region. Yeah. I'm a big Pokemon enthusiast and I know everything about them, but due to my age, I just observe their behavior and seek hidden treasures inside these dungeons called Pokemon Dens. Oh, now you're saying words I like to hear. Tell me more about these treasures. You'll see. One day, I'll catch them all. He said the thing. 
What did you say? Never heard of Pokemon Dance? Are they like grottos? Don't yell at me. <laughs> Don't worry, that's why I'm here, yeah. See, these are Pokemon's hideouts where they store the precious items they stumble across, like berries. Obviously, you can find dens in every corner of the region, but remember that only one Pokemon can enter them, and sometimes a specific type is required. Okay. But you have to consider the risk factor, too. <laughs> risk factor? <laughs> in fact, if the Pokemon inside the den realized your buddy was there, too, it wouldn't hesitate to immediately cast it out. Well, that's- that's not- that's not horrible. I mean, it's like it's getting eaten. I see you have a Pokemon with you. Why don't you try to infiltrate this den? Yeah. Well, young trainer, it was nice meeting you. I wish you a prosperous career. Sayonara. What a... what a strange character. It's a Pokemon den. Do you want Shyleon to take a look inside? I don't know if I want to do this with Shyleon. But we'll say yeah. Go for it. Go on, Shyleon. Go on, buddy. Oh, I get to control him! Oh. I mean, I can just go over this way. Can I interact with the, the fun glowing stuff? Rare candy! Ooh, piece of candy. You completed the Pokemon Den. I imagine they'll get a lot more um, extravagant as time goes on. I do want to see what happens if it get cast out, though. Does it just... Do I have to battle it, or do I just get knocked out? I just get knocked out. Okay, that's absolutely fine, to be honest. Can we just immediately go back in? Rare candy farm? Oh, it just says that I've completed it, basically, then? Okay. Okay. <laughs> no no rare candy farm, can you imagine? <laughs> That'd be a very, very, um, exploitable thing to overlook, but, uh, sadly, that's not the case. Oh, I unintentionally completely avoided that trainer. You know, I was trying to battle you. It's time to put what I've learned into practice. We're already going up against the first gym leader of the Hoenn region, Roxanne. Bang. Bang. Really... Really playing us against some tough people, huh? <laughs> okay. Against the Zabra, though, I am just gonna click Absorb. I'm not gonna think about things too much. I just wanna get some nice health back, thank you very much. Teleport failed. This poor thing. It just wants to leave. It just wants to get away from its trainer. Go and have a nice life somewhere different. I feel you, Abra. I feel you. You know, this trainer hasn't even taught you, like, hidden power or something. You have no way of attacking to defend yourself, and yet she's sending you out in a Pokemon battle? Despicable. How dare she? How actually dare she? I kind of want to see if there's any fun Pokemon on Route 1. I mean, there's Abra. Abra is not a bad Pokemon. But also, it's not unique to this game, and uh, I want unique Pokemon at the moment. Hadwolf City is one step away, but you have to go through me first. Not Freddy. Does he have a top percentage Pokemon? He looks like he should. He looks like he's a top percentage Pokemon Haver. Whatever that means. <laughs> uh, Letty Butt, let's just smack you in the face. Ooh, damage. Respectable damage right there. So at the moment, I do think I want to train up my Spark Owl, but uh, not just yet. Not just yet. At the moment, I want to keep using Shyleon because I know there's going to be a point where we're gonna have a rival battle, okay? It's gonna happen, because we haven't had one yet. <laughs> and I want my starter to be decently prepared for it. Yeah, man. Well, I guess that's, I guess, I guess it's as good a time as any. I, I'm immediately contradicting myself. I'm fully aware of what I just said and what I just did, and they're very different things. <laughs> <laughs> but still. Uh, let's see. How much does attack will do? I don't think I'm going to win this 1v1. I'm probably going to have to swap into my starter. Let's just swap into my starter now. I'm, I'm going to have to. We can just swap out. We can go for a disarming voice. It'll be enough KO. There's no point in wasting time going for tackles and, then, you know, having to swap out anyway when this will be enough KO. Hopefully this is a really, really, really solid amount of XP for my level 3 because, you know, that, that'd be great. 24 XP? It's not the worst. Definitely not the worst. West Hadwolf City. Kind of want to see your Pokemon in here, but I might do that off screen, because running back and forth in the grass isn't the most exciting of things, I'll be perfectly honest. This quiet town is just as good as the chaotic cities in the rest of the region. Chaos? I do enjoy a bit of chaos. 
Can I get into the back of this Pokemon Center? <gasps> that Nurse Joy Sprite. I love. I love that Nurse Joy Sprite. That's beautiful. In this building, we restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes. Okay, from the side, not quite as beautiful. <laughs> from the side, she's got some very chubby cheeks. <laughs> I'm way too easily abstained. Um, so here's a deal. A gold coin for the valuable Shining Sand from Stardust Beach. Yeah, I don't have that. I see you don't have any gold coin. Well then, come back when you have one. My offer is unmissable. Is that gonna be like soft sand? I can have your Pokemon remember any move they forgot. Are you interested? That's a pretty early time to get that. Okay, that's that's good, that's good. I'm so proud of my orange berries, trees. Take one, cut the compliments. Okay, you know, I've, I'm, I'm fine with complimenting you. I mean, are you okay, my man? I can say, hey, your, your berries are massive and amazing, but okay. I was training down the beach when, kapow, my wallet was gone. Would you kindly lend me 500? I'm gonna say no first to see what happens and then maybe say yes. Oh, I see, don't worry. Okay, you know what, yeah, you, you can have it. I'm rewarding your benevolence with this. A focus band. Oh, we're playing the game of chance early, huh? We're playing the game of chance. Uh, what do we have? We can buy Pokeballs. I think we should grab some of those, because at the end of the day, we're going to want to catch a lot of new Pokemon. Uh, I don't think I'm super concerned about anything else right now. I'll probably just want more Pokeballs. I can't interact with the other lady. That's a shame. I guess she's just there. To stare endlessly into the abyss. That's fine, too. Reindeer is so cute. I like the name. But be sure to never make the mistake of teaching it frustration. Why not? It would lose all its grace. I want to catch one and teach it frustration despite this child. I- <laughs> is, that, is that a bad- is that a bad thing? Maybe that's a bad thing. Maybe I shouldn't try and spite the child immediately. Please help! I'm on the way! Look at me go! Whoa. Ooh, hello! Uh, Shyleon, quick, slap the fire with your vines! That's a bad idea. Someone, put out that fire! Keep the children safe! Fire! Fire! This is the one pyromaniac in the crowd that's not actually local to this area. She was just walking by and got distracted by the fire and it's like, woo! <laughs> Call Asta fast! Asta, please hurry up! Oh, look at that hair. You can tell he's a water type user. <laughs> Wait, what's happening here? Another fire? Stay away. I gotta do something. Now, Suicune? Okay, my man. Okay, all right. You know, I'm, uh, we're friends, right? Yeah, good, good old friends, but good old buddies. Okay. That beautiful sweet here. Excellent, my friend. Well done. Now come back. Don't worry, folks. I've got it. Okay. Now you've got to work out who started the fire. You've got to determine the culprit so it doesn't happen again. Hmm. But you are. I've never seen you around here. Yeah, you have such a familiar face. Whatever, I'm a little busy right now. Just keep you away from troubles, okay? No, I want to start trouble. <laughs> Wait, you are Carlos. Look how you've grown. It's me, Asta. Don't you recognize me? Well, you still were an infant when I met you. Your father was my mentor. Are those Pokeballs you have there? So, Clover finally decided to spill the bean, huh? Why don't you come with me to get that punk that almost put the city on fire? Yeah, that's what I want to hear, let's go! That's not a normal Pokemon you see, it's one of those mysterious X Pokemon. Is it on X Games? For some time now, they started popping up all over the region. So, I know that the starters have um, a special form, right? But I don't know much besides that. I don't know how you get the form. I don't know if it's a permanent thing. I don't know if it's like an alternative to Mega Evolution. That's kind of what I'm thinking at the moment, but I'm sure we'll have that explained as the game goes on. Information about them is still lacking. All we know is that they come from another world, the Xenoverse. Enough of the chit chat. We'll talk as soon as we get there. Knowing that little punk, it might have gone to Stardust Beach. You can reach there through Route 2, the path on your right. There's a way for you over there. I kind of want to explore. I'm, you know, I'm going to take my time with this game. 
just because I want to go around and I want to see all of the effort that's gone into it, because this game looks beautiful so far. I could really use a good star cider to quench this thirst. Uh, I don't... I don't have one of those. Oh! I got a potion from your trash can, though, ma'am. <laughs> Throwing out the valuables, I see how it is. <laughs> I do this every time. <laughs> I need to stop going through people's trash cans, but I can't help it. Astro is the only one keeping this city safe from that Pokemon. Fire type Pokemon? I really hope that Astro took care of that scoundrel. It gave me such a fright. Oh! Weren't you the one that I called a pyromaniac that I assumed was going to be nothing to do with the city and then your house was the closest to it? Ah, that's awkward. <laughs> I see, I see. Why is this house so out of the way? I would want to live here. This is a great place, nice and out of the way. My granddaughter went to the lab, but she forgot her poker doll here. Would you kindly bring it back to her? Sure. Do I get like a quest log? Oh, what a nice boy. It means that when you're done, you're getting a nice present. Bad touch. <laughs> Bad touch. Thanks for the poke doll. Can I just keep the poke doll though? Okay, so there's not like a quest log book or anything that came up. Good to know, good to know. That means I have to somewhat um, remember. Did I speak to you already? Did you see Astus Suicun putting out the flames? So cool. It was pr I'll admit, yeah, kid, it was pretty cool. He got me there. He got me there. I did think it was pretty cool. Um, I guess I can't go in here, right? I can't really go feast, but this old hag is holding me here. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and start making our way towards the beach then, huh? But first, items. Give me that antidote. I don't know how many weedles there are gonna be. Ah, so this is how I get behind the Pokemon Center, maybe. I'm sorry, nobody can pass through without Asta's permission. Okay, so that is how I'm gonna get there. Ah, that's where the gym is. That's a really nice looking gym. I'm just gonna keep calling this game pretty over and over again. That's <laughs> Sorry, I sound like a broken record, but I, I can't help it. I camped out here before going back to my journey. Okay. Show me more sound types. I just want to see sound types. I can't help it. Wingull? You know, that thing makes enough noise to be a sound type. I'll be perfectly honest. I could believe this thing being a sound type. But for right now, we'll just slap it with an absorb. I do want to quickly check. Is this game 20 base power absorb? 40 base power absorb. Okay, I thought it was doing more damage than it normally does. Okay. 40 base power absorb is pretty good. It's pretty good. That's a nice strong move. I don't know if Mega Drain is going to be a thing this Pokemon can learn, but uh, we'll see if that's also base 40 power, or if that's been buffed as well. <laughs> but I do like the fact that absorb isn't garbage, because let me tell you, starting with a grass type starter that has absorb and it's base 20 power does not feel good. So it's nice that it's base 40. Alright, Spark Owl, let's see if you can fight Taylor. It might be a higher level than what we really want to be fighting right now. It definitely is. I mean, if it only has Peck, though, resisted. This is going to be a battle of attrition right here. I'm not going to win this fight. That's not going to happen. That's such a shame. Such a shame. My team at the moment uh, is a Shyleon. And <laughs> that's my entire team. So that's unfortunate. That hits way too hard. You gotta chill a little bit, buddy, okay? You gotta get hit by this disarming voice. I'm glad that I have speed. Okay, you just you just gotta not peck me, okay? Number one reason why I need my bird trained up is to fight birds. <laughs> There's some XP though. 53 XP, we learned Thundershock. Now it can fight a bird. That's good, that's good. I'm gonna push on just because I'm stubborn and uh, we still have potions if we do need to use them. And we have even more potions if we do decide to use them. For now, let's put a uh, good old Spark Owl in the front. I'm still somewhat struggling to remember names, which is bad because there's only three names to remember at the moment. My Pokemon and I will beat you like a drum. That's pretty aggressive. Dang, okay. I love the fact that his trainer class is hippie. What is that? Hello? 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 What are you? What are you? You're a funky looking cat boy. What are you? I'm just going for a final shock, maybe a paralysis? That'd be huge. Okay, that did nothing. Um, sacrificial Weedle. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But it is. It's a sacrificial weedle. 
I'm actually surprised you survived, I'll be perfectly honest. Maybe a string shot to lower its speed? Come on, Weedle. Imagine if Weedle wins. It just keeps growling, I lower its speed, I get poison on the poison sting, and we win. That'd be hilarious, but... Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna happen, but it would've been funny. Alright, Shyleon, you come in here. We're gonna hit it with an Absorb, just first, because I don't know what type it is. Um, I'm thinking maybe just normal. It might just be a normal type. Pound does... Not too much. We can just continue to absorb. And we'll basically get our HP back, which is fine. I do want to hit it with at least one disarming voice, just to check if it's like maybe a pop fighting type or something. So we'll do that after this next absorb. Gonna play it somewhat safe. Thundershock, Electric. Electric? Huh. Resisted. Sound. <laughs> I, I just immediately think sound whenever fairy is resisted. That's gonna happen a lot, but huh. I wonder if I can catch one of these in the forest. Because it does have some fancy looking whiskers, I'll give it that. That was a lot of XP. Thank you for the delicious XP. Spark Owl is now straight up level 8. It is now completely on par with my starter uh, from one battle. So I, I guess we could say that that went well, I suppose. Uh, I might run around at this cross a little bit. And I'll let you know if I see any of the interesting Pokemon that are new to this game. As far as I can tell, there is nothing particularly crazy over here. I could just be being very unlucky. Could be like 10% spawn rate for that Pokemon here or something. But uh, I've run around that grass about 20 times and not found anything. So we're gonna move on, because I I want to keep playing. <laughs> uh, for now though, Hydwebble, you're a little bit of a problem for me. Use the punch shot. That does some really good damage, actually. I need to check if Spark Owl is going to be a special attacker or a physical attacker. Normally, generic starting root birds are physical, but this isn't a generic game. So, who knows? Who knows? For now, though, we'll go ahead and keep switching between Spark Owl and our starter when we feel appropriate. We'll try and keep them roughly the same level. Uh, Yemen, we'll train up before we fight a gym, probably. But... At the moment, I'm going to keep it in the back as just a just a decent Pokemon to maybe swap into if I want to heal someone else. Which is very rude, but also kind of necessary at the moment. Shining Sandy Shore. I was kind of expecting that to be a tongue twister. Wow, it took you no time, Carlos, other than the fact that I sat there for a good, you know, <laughs> five minutes running in the grass, but yeah. I cornered it. Hello, who are you? You look like an egg. This is the second time I've caught something an egg. <laughs> but I want you to fight it, to prove to me how much you are worth. Okay, no pressure. Now pay attention. As I told you, this crook comes from another world, so it's impossible to catch without common pokeballs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, I really like that. <laughs> That's probably my favorite line I've read in a while from anything. That's great. Therefore, I developed a ball capable of imprisoning the explosive fury of X-Species Pokemon. Here, the results of years of research. Oh, there is actual- okay. When when they said the, the thing of common Pokeballs, I thought it meant that you can catch them in just normal Pokeballs. Which would have been so much funnier. <laughs> just like, this is an incredibly rare species of Pokemon from an alternate dimension. Just toss a Pokeball at it, you'll be fine. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Studies on these Pokemon reveal they have multiple HP bars. Ah, okay, okay. Despite the troubles it made, this Alekid... Alekid? Hello? You're an Alekid? Alright, interesting. It's not especially strong, so I think it has two bars maximum. As for normal Pokémon, also these ones must be weakened to be caught. Before we get started on this battle, let me heal your Pokémon. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Come on, Carlos, show me you are a worthy addition to the Versal Research Team. No pressure. Hi, Alekid. Ooh, I didn't realize we were going to get cool fan arts in the middle of battles. Ooh, there he is. Bring it on, the boss Pokemon Alekid wants to battle. <laughs> He's just there with his hands up, waving back and forth, having a good time. <laughs> uh, uh, well, we'll go for a Thundershock first. So this is a Fire-type Alekid? Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I want to go for as many Thundershocks as possible, really, because I want to get a Paralysis. 
Although also, also, multiple HP bars. I can see it in the back. Like, I can see the other green HP bar underneath that one. I'm kind of letting my Pokemon go here. As it then doesn't attack me. But I mean, I, I would like paralysis. Is that half HP because it's now missing exactly one HP bar? Or is it half HP on the second HP bar? I could just throw, throw a ball, I guess. How many Xeno Balls did I get? I got five. We'll throw one and see how tough it is to catch, I guess. This Pokemon is not weak enough to be caught. Oh, okay. Oh, is it going to be like a raid battle where I have to actually KO the Pokemon? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, for now though, let's go ahead and slap you with a pound, I guess, to try and weaken you a little bit. It actually outspeeds me, which is a little bit scary. So now that it's on its next HP bar, am I good to try and capture? I'm gonna go for another pound. That ember's gonna hurt so much. Yup. Yikes. 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 Um, I'm actually gonna potion. I'm not really that prepared for this. <laughs> Good, quick attack. That's much more bearable. I would love to lower your speed a little bit. I'm gonna try and absorb just to get a little bit of HP back. This was a bad idea. Okay, we're gonna throw a Pokeball right here. I'm also gonna swap into Weedle, which is rude to do it to it. But I'm gonna swap into Weedle. And I am going to immediately... I'm playing this very safe, yes, but also I don't want to lose this Elekid or anything crazy. I should have potioned the Spark Owl. That would have definitely been better. But um, I thought I could just throw a Pokeball at it and catch it without, you know, the thing, the HP being completely out. So with Yemen, I'm going to throw a Pokeball just to see if we can catch it now. Okay, okay, so now it can be captured. I don't need to KO the Pokemon like a like a, uh, a raid den in Pokemon Sword and Shield or anything. It just has to be a little bit lower on its last poke. I'm guessing it just has to be on its last bar of health. That probably makes sense. The Dynamite Pokemon, Fire type. The spark that scatters from its head can easily cause fires or explosions. This is a real ticking bomb. Okay. Um, yeah, well, that's fire for sure. Definitely. Imagine if it had the two health bars. <laughs> I knew you would have managed it easily. Yeah, easily. Yeah, <laughs> that was that definitely wasn't close. <laughs> uh, time to go back to the lab. Oh, I got whisked away. I have to say you made awesome work out there. Congratulations. I was sure you'd be able to handle this all on your own. <laughs> anyway, welcome to my lab. This is where I run my research on X Pokemon. It's in here where we conceived the Xeno Ball, only thanks to mutual respect. The only device capable of containing the power of those mysterious creatures. We don't know how many other X specimens. That makes me think of X-Men. It really does, but um, are still lurking in the Eldu region, but one thing is for sure. They are a serious threat to its balance. You have to be ready for anything. If you want to become a real trainer, I suggest you challenge the gym leaders of the region. You see, also Hadwolf City has a gym. Why don't you start with that? Oh man, I was so into this conversation that I lost all sense of time. Carlos, I'd better go now, or I'd be late for the meeting. Take care. No Pokedex? I was expecting a Pokedex. No? Okay, okay, I mean, it's fine, I just expected it. Scram on my lunch break, Ruth. Seems that in other regions they don't study sound types closely as we do here in Eldu. That's true. I don't really understand what's wrong. Master is very beloved by everyone, but sometimes he's such a perfectionist. Do any of you tell me more about sound types? Are you the one who helped Astro with his reach out to next Pokemon? Yes. Take this, come on. Oh, cool. I like that. I like having more of those. If you need more, feel free to ask me. I do. How expensive are they? Ooh, okay. A um, little bit expensive for right now. A little bit expensive for right now. I'm sure we'll have enough money eventually, but at the moment, that's a, that's a little bit tough. That was huge if only I had my Pokedoll with me. Here you go. That's exactly my Pokedoll that I left at my grandpa's. Thank you for bringing it back to me. Can you tell Granny to not be worried? No, I don't need anything else. Did I even give you it or do I still have it? 
and W to get change slots. Okay, that's different. Q and W. I don't have anything in my key items anymore, so I'm assuming that I don't have it anymore. What, my Pokemon? Ah, you're talking about this! This is a Porygon Center. Gross. A, a device that provides all the comfort of a Pokemon Center at the price of 500 bucks. Inside the dangerous dungeon spread through Eldu is a real glimmer of hope for the trainers. Huh. Okay. Wow, they really have made Porygon able to do pretty much anything at this point, haven't they? Huh. Well, okay. Okay. For right now, I feel like that is another very, very nice stopping point. So far, I love this game. It's beautiful, and it's great. And before we round up, I do quickly want to have a look at this Elekid, just so we know. It has an Edenberry, which I'm not entirely sure what that does, so I'll have to look at that as well. Uh, it has pretty low physical attack, but, you know, decent defenses and speed and stuff. It has Aftermath, which is interesting. Ember, Leer, Quick Attack, and a Neutral Nature. Neutral Nature is the perfect nature for me to have when I don't know what a Pokemon does, so I'm happy about that. What does the Edenberry do? Alright, we'll have a quick look at what that berry does before we wrap things up. And it does... A mysterious berry coming from another planet. Nobody's ever been brave enough to eat it. I'll eat it. I'll do it. I'll eat it. I guess I'll just give it back to it for now, and we'll see if it has some crazy effect. Maybe it's gonna be like a, a big old power-up, or like a... Can you imagine if it was a form change? That'd be nuts, but I doubt it's gonna be the case. Either way, that's where we're gonna wrap things up for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!